what is up guys lazy boy here and today I've got another destiny video for you uh, this one is of the uh, the other way of doing Crota's in hard mode solo now my good friend cabbage here is currently AFK so he might join about halfway through um, if you haven't watched my first video on Crota on your Titan please go do that it's a very very good video I show you great great information on how to do it up to uh, uh, the uh, the wizard on her own so please please go watch that it's a good video but today here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you how to do Crota Zen with your hunter completely solo at least for the first part cuz I'm gonna need uh, Miss Yaw Kabaj for an example to show you guys where to go for the second section for the part two of this video so this is part one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on your blade dance subclass and you're gonna put on vanish escape artist shadow jack and stalker now why these four because you're gonna need your invisibility the whole time you're down in the uh, abyss so you're gonna have to um, get through that with only invisibility health really isn't that big of an issue but if it is you know I've, I've said in a previous video that um, that if you're trying to do this and you know you're not you're, you're not quite getting it then I would suggest that you switch to backstab um, I did the whole review on what Bungie did with the Hungering Blade perk. Uh, I did that so you guys can go and watch that video as well. They gives a very good explanation of what perks work with Hungering Blade. So if you haven't checked that out, please go check that out too. But today, here's what we're going to do. Crota, hard mode, solo, with only your hunter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step out here, as I did in the previous video, and just kill a whole bunch of ads. Oh, I already have my super. Look at that. I don't have to do that. But yeah, if you don't have your super, pretty much just go out there, kill a whole bunch of ads until you get your super, come back here, and just chill and wait for your darkness to be up. And just go, f go forth and conquer. So just run through all these ads here. Uh, if I don't get stuck, hopefully I don't. If I do and I fail, I am sorry. I'm hoping I don't, but I have to fake blade dance there. Now, as you can see, no ads attack me. Of course, that's the bonus of invisibility. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go invis right now. Make sure you time your invis so that you're not using it constantly and you have... You you'll always have invis and make sure that your um, your strength is as high as it can be for this. Now mine isn't, but mine still regenerates pretty quick though. And then you'll just make your way all the way up to where the bridge is. And I'm currently making this video because I promised you guys I would. And I always keep my promises. So, that's why I'm making this video. Eh? Because, you know, you guys seem to enjoy it when I make my content. So, I'm very, very happy for all you viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet or you are brand new to the channel, please feel free to watch my videos before you subscribe. Please, please do that and just see if you like my content that I upload for you. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Let's continue. Run past that knight right there. Hmm. 
This is a very, very uh, hard section if you don't have uh, invisibility active. Pretty sure you guys know that already. If you were a year one player or you just do this raid for fun or for uh, Molts of Light for trying to farm those if you suck at storing them like I do. You can always do this for Molts of Light every week. Come on, come on. There we go. Now this video is to help out not only you know the the pro PVE players but also to help out new players who are starting just to level up their uh, their character now once you get past this point and as far as leveling up uh, you'll just you'll just kinda have to um, like do strikes and get packages and all that type of stuff I've explained that in a previous video so you guys can check that one out too uh, I cover quite a lot of content on my videos so I mean you guys should should go check it out it's it's actually really nice so what I what I cover it gives you a lot of detailed information all of it is accurate as far as I know I, I'm pretty sure I haven't given you guys any faulty information so if I have I am absolutely sorry Go. Just get up here. Now we just sit here and wait for that ogre to spawn over there. Go ahead and switch my primary here real quick to the Mita. Just go ahead and take this guy out real quick. Um, okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he kind of just glitched or did something. I don't know. I don't know what just happened, but okay. Um, honestly, I've never had that happen before, so I couldn't tell you tell you guys what that was. He kind of just like just kind of just fell right there. As far as I know, there's no, there's no ledge or anything in that area. It's water. So I have no idea. But in this section, though, keep in mind, try not to kill any of the ads, or more will spawn, and it will spawn a second ogre. And honestly, quite frankly, it's not something that you want to do, especially if you're using a sniper rifle. I mean. You can take them out pretty quick with a scout rifle, but um, I would not recommend that you sit there and just kill ads the whole time if you're going to do this. Just because of the simple fact that you don't want to waste two mags taking out two ogres and not having any ammo left. So, that is not recommended. Okay guys, so that was the end of part one of my video. Um, there will be a part two to this, and like I said, I'm doing this because I'm trying to help out those newer players. And you know, if you guys have any questions, or you guys want to let me know I'm on some information that I'm unaware of, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and especially, especially guys, don't forget to share this video with your friends. It really, really helps me out when you guys do that. I am proud to be a part of YouTube. I'm proud to be doing these videos for you and, you know, just having a good old conversation with you guys. You know, you guys seem a little bit entertained by my content. If there's anything you need me to change, please let me know in the comments. I know I don't have the programs to, you know, cut this video and edit it as most YouTubers do. I don't have that yet. I'm just getting started, so I'm just recording on my uh, PlayStation. But, it, you know, if you guys have any questions or you guys want me to cover anything in my videos or anything like that, please feel free to comment. And as always, have a good day.